investigate. What? Gather info on a char character by selecting all the correct clues. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. I didn't even get to finish reading that. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Oh, shit. Um. <coughs> uh... Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. You can select any of them. Uh, Nathan's pictures. It does some. Some of these don't even open. Paper. 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 Max's pictures. Paper. License plate pictures. Uh, actually, coordinates. And map. No, this is not working. This is tricky. Do I have to look at them all, maybe? Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. I feel like the coordinates should be one. And then... We'll try... this? No, let's look. Um, select and... The map is of the cameras. Kate's pictures. Paper, paper, max pictures. Uh, let's try that. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Did I, did I, did I do it? I have to analyze Nathan's messages. <sighs> what could help me unlock this phone? Wait, the hell did I just do? <laughs> oh, I guess right clicks rewind as well. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. I guess I did do it. Um, let's go with this, I guess. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? I'm gonna leave this one for later. <laughs> it looks really complicated. <coughs> uh. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay, so it's definitely not the phone. SIM card. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Make sure to change it. It's probably changed, but I'll select it. And then look. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. 
But those numbers might be useful. Yeah, I think they would be, so I'll select that one. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. We regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has dis disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Miss Hoyta's intro toe. Literate to toe. <laughs> what am I going on about? Um, intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th. Uh, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, like, kind of better, but, like, I'm, I'm still coughing, but I, I can I'm able to talk better without, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Uh, the school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to Im impress upon him the severity of this situation. Please see the attached file for full reports. Okay. That's probably of no use. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Uh, the hell is this? There's a lot of numbers in here. I'll say. Uh, flyer. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? What's oh what's the, oh that deselect? So I've selected that. I've selected that. That's the paper. Um. Select that, I guess, because I mean we need it to unlock it, and I guess let's select that. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. We can't go home yet. We gotta do stuff, and then this one. So I guess I did that correctly. I don't know. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. We have his code or the paper from him, right? I think it's this. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Okay, so that wasn't it. Is it maybe this? Wait. Letter, letter, paper. Is it this? Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. <laughs> okay, we'll select that. And select this. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. What, did I unlock it? Oh, oh Nathan texted me. Alright, so it looks like he's going to... Um... Do shit. Uh, oh no, we missed quite a bit, it looks like. Uh, I guess it's not too bad. After that dorm brawl, Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. Unfortunately, Frank was not in a helping mood. He went ballistic and attacked Chloe. She injured him in the leg, which totally freaked me out, even though I feel like I've been seeing Chloe get shot all week. All I could think was, this is really happening, I'm outside an RV in a fight with a drug dealer. So our mission to bring Frank on board was impossible, now he's even more pissed off at Chloe and me. Part of me thinks he has the right, since, he, since we wounded him in the leg, but the other part thinks that Frank would be hurt at some point by somebody else. He should be lucky it was by us dorks. I hope his leg is okay and we don't end up with worse karma. This is not how I wanted our visit to go. And I don't want Chloe to beat herself up even more over what happened. She did defend me, sigh. But we do have bigger Franks to fry, or fuck up, onward. Bigger Franks to fry? Oh Jesus, what is this? Uh, my life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react anymore. I can rewind time and space, but is it aging me before my own time and space? 
I am I learning things I shouldn't, messing up too much shit, including my own history? Obviously my nosebleeds and dizzy spells are a bad sign that I'm overusing my powers, but it's become almost part of my nature, or maybe a habit. Power corrupts? Not yet, I hope. I, I remember this famous episode of the original Star Trek where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loves die, so the Nazis won't win the war. What kind of fucked up choice is that? What would ha have happened if I had not been in the school bathroom to save Chloe that day? But damn it, I was there, and thus I was supposed to be there. Destiny. I like how they mentioned the original Star Trek. I I watched it. A, well, I actually watched quite a bit of it, mainly because my uh, uh, my dad was mainly into it, and we kind of watched it like every time we ate supper. And yeah, my childhood. <laughs> so things got a bit out of hand with Frank. But honestly, what else could we expect? He's not really your everyday hero type, and it was probably. I lost my spot, and it was probably stupid of us to hope for a change, but hey, we had to confront him. We tried to persuade him, we're, we're on the same s side, but it was a waste of time. We eventually had to defend ourselves and hurt him in the leg, but despite the rage in his eyes, he somehow gave us what we were looking for. He was on the verge of unleashing hell on us, but I think we've avoided the worst. I just hope our paths don't cross again anytime soon. I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left town, I'd be less judgmental, but I definitely don't see the good in him. Anyhow, we tried, right? And now we have Nathan's phone, David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues, which brings us closer to finding Rachel Amber, finally. Uh, I have to investigate all three of these again. I see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Uh. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Boxer, Bulldog, Beagle, Dash, and Greyhound. Rot. So there's Rot in this one. Maybe we should select all the ones that say rot, because that's Nathan. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Uh, I don't see rot in this one. Oh, I guess we're looking at this one down here now. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. <laughs> so there's rot multiple times in this one. So we'll select. Oh, uh, oh, this one. Select that one. Uh, look. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? <laughs> five hundred dollars. Five grams of cocaine plus three tabs of acid. Whole. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy shit. Fire, bud. That sounds insane. One ounce tie stick. Okay. One gram molly. Oh my god. Green dream. A quarter pound. Molly. ADHD. Interesting. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Oh, a contact high. That sounds interesting. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Holy. Two ounce firebud, five grams speed, and five grams cocaine. Nine hundred bucks. Five grams... GHB. I wonder what that is. Okay, so that means that this is the one we have to select. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Alright, now we look at David's clues. I guess we gotta get closer. Oh, investigate. So, what do we have to do here? Uh, look... Yep, another car David was tracking. I, 
guess we have to take a look at the different pictures and figure out what the plate is. It can't be this one. That's definitely Chloe's car. Okay. And then... This one. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Would it be Nathan's, maybe? Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Might be. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. It's not an SUV, it's a pickup truck. <laughs> There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. No, I don't think so. I mean, he did say sorry in the end, which kind of made it seem like he wasn't going to bother us anymore. But at the same time, we were, we were probably going to get in shit for beating him up. I mean, we could have said it was uh, self-defense or whatever, but still. Okay, so it's the red pickup truck, which is this plate. So it's TWLG. So we'll select this one. And then we got to find... Okay, let's find out whose car this is. It's not that one. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? I think it's that one. T W L G H T Z N. I think it's that one. Yeah. And I guess we need this one to confirm that it's Nathan's. Looks like this isn't the right combination. What? Uh. Deselect. What about this one? Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. <sighs> Do. Oh, I accidentally rewind there. Uh, deselect. It's not that one. Oh, why did I Damn. select it? I, I must have missed something. There's four different ones. It's not that one. It I it must be that. Wait. But Oh man, I am so confused with this. I'm gonna deselect all. Uh She said deduce. Deduce, that means we don't select Nathan's plate. Does that mean we select the one that's not there? TPH, or TPH, TPFTH, TPFTH. Is it this one? No. TPH, THLK, was it LK that one? Hurts. Yeah, okay. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like fine, and all of a sudden I just I have to cough. So that's Chloe's car. So we don't. Maybe we select this one? Because it's not indicated. Oh. I think I know what I did wrong. It's not that pickup truck. So, we select this one. Select this one. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, 
Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. That one pickup truck confused me. Wait, what do we do? Oh, we're, we're playing now. Uh, Nathan's Clues. Let's start hacking. Look. Okay, so I unlock. Oh, apply. Oops. Bad code. Uh, look. 9535, because it's circled. 9535. Nine five three five. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. But it was circled. Um, five, four, three, one. You locked it, dumbass. Oh, I thought she meant like I. I completely locked it. Like I could not unlock it anymore. Is that that's four, right? Yeah, it looks like a four, four, three, six. Oh shit! That's what she meant. P U K. Uh. Oh god. Eight seven. I gotta write this down. It's too long. Um, uh, I don't know what to write it on. <laughs> I'll write it on this, I guess. So, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, zero, eight. Okay. It's a lot of eights. Eight zero no eight seven eight nine whoopsie go stay there stay there eight seven eight nine seven eight zero eight Booyah Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Oh. Okay. I guess that's one way to do it. Just keep trying until it locks it, and then enter the obvious code, and then it just completely unlocks. What up, need the G? Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bring it, stay away, pigs on the beach. Alright. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home, got to party tonight, home, on the way, load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car, no time, charge, charge me double. Damn right, have cash on you, no fucking around, give me the address, I'll call. To give you the exact directions in transit, get that money in. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit. What you need? Peruvian flake skid skidoo acid. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Yes. Don't come. Fuck off. God, okay. Nathan. You're out of control. Calm yourself, you tweaking soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach, be cool this time. So it was you. 
Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you're asleep. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Hey, whore. Fem feminazis will be exterminated. Watch Is this out. from Nathan's father? <clears throat> That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before, and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Hmm. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, as it does help me out a lot. If you like the music you're currently listening to, click the music icon. And if you want, check out my other various social medias by clicking the logos or by checking the description box down below. Also, don't forget to check out my fellow YouTube friends in the list on my channel to the right side. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the Clouder today. It's like Chowder, but with cats.